three more. Two more. One more. Pumping iron is tough, especially if you're new to it. You might think you're getting jacked, but you could be doing some serious damage to your body. The next time you decide to show off at the gym, don't be like this guy. This is Your Body On, 11 Things You're Doing Wrong at the Gym. Number 11, Squats. We all love doing squats. They can improve your posture and strengthen your core muscles. But if you do them the wrong way, you might end up with sore knees. Common mistakes include not going down low enough, oh, lower, Marty. I can't. rising onto your tiptoes, and not keeping your back straight. They can be caused by a lack of mobility in your hips, let's open those hips up, hamstring or ankles, or weak abs. You can improve your form by building up your core and stretching beforehand. Number 10, leg presses. Leg presses are great for strengthening your glutes and thighs, but starting with your knees too bent can injure your lower back. In the first position, your legs should bend less than 90 degrees. All that pressure is going to here. So what you wanna do is put your feet up high, so you're at a 90 degree angle. And when you stretch out, don't lock your knees. Instead, keep them slightly bent. Keep your head against the support and maintain a natural curve in your back too. Number nine, shoulder raises. This exercise builds up your deltoid muscles and helps increase your upper body strength. Here, this is representing the medial deltoid. Here we have the front delt. But progress is very slow. Many people move on to higher weights too soon, hoping for quicker benefits. But this only ends up straining your muscles and joints. Relax your knees and tilt forward slightly. Lift your arms slowly and always pause at the top to maximize muscle tension. Number eight, treadmill. Do you hold onto the handrail when you run? Never, me neither. If you do, you're reducing the effectiveness of the workout. It's really bad for your posture too. If you find you need to hold on, you're running too fast or the incline you've set up is too steep. Don't go over an 8% incline as that will only strain your back, hips, and ankles. And when you're done, wait until the machine fully stops before jumping off. Ouch, what did I tell you? Number seven, planks. I just love planks. They're so much fun to do, not. Am I ready? Question. It's not as easy as just holding your body up like a log. You need to keep your elbows below your shoulders, your butt down, and squeeze your glutes. That's so much to remember. Start by lying face down on a flat surface with your elbows below your shoulders. Extend your legs with your toes on the ground and tucked under your foot. Push up against your elbows and create tension in your body. Focus on keeping a straight line from your toes to your head. Don't bend at your hips and lift your butt too high. Can I stop this one now? Number six, stomach crunches. If you're trying to get six pack abs, don't do this. Tucking your chin into your chest might crunch your neck, but not your stomach. And you can really see the strain that's in my neck, and that is really not good for you at all. And don't raise yourself too high off the floor. You only need to raise your shoulders about three inches above the mat. Take your time doing these crunches. If you do the exercise slowly and concentrate on engaging your core, you'll get more benefits for less effort. Stop counting reps and instead make your reps count. Number five tricep dips. There are many ways to go about this exercise, but not like this. We're allowing it to collapse. Keep your elbows shoulder width apart to avoid injury. And don't push with your legs. That won't work your triceps at all. Take it slowly and hold your pose for about two seconds. And make sure you put all that weight onto those triceps. Number four, rowing. Don't round your back. Keep it straight and engage your core. It's important to use your legs as well as your arms. About 60% of your power should be coming from your legs. And don't pull to the side. Keep your body straight as you make long and controlled strokes. That's it. You'll be a rowing champion in no time. Number three, push-ups. There are many ways to do a push-up but I'd stick to the basics if I were you. That must have hurt. 
Now give me 50. Make sure your hands aren't too far forward and point your elbows backwards, not outwards. Extend fully, but don't lock up. Don't drop your hips below your shoulders, as you could strain your back. You want to work your abdominals, not your lower back. My back! Number two, bicep curls. Oh, yeah! Um, excuse me, but do you even lift, bro? Your bicep muscles can't handle much weight, oh! so they're easy to strain. To make it easier, you might swing your arms using the weight to propel itself up instead of using your muscles, but this uses your shoulder more than the bicep. Use slow, measured lifts with your wrist straight and a comfortable grip. Bring it down slowly as well. Number 1. Chin-ups Hey, stop cheating! Pull yourself up all the way and don't let your feet touch the ground. A tight, tight grip, bring your scapulas back. We're gonna pull straight to our chest. Do it slowly, and don't swing or flop your body around. No, that doesn't count. And definitely don't let yourself drop. Lowering yourself properly is just as important as pulling yourself up. Both directions should be slow and in control. Whatever exercise you do, be sure to stretch well beforehand. A good warm-up is just as important as the exercise and helps prevent injury. I'm getting it! Don't overdo it either. Rest is a crucial part of a healthy workout routine. But if you're feeling extreme, we've got a challenge for you. How about working out for 24 hours straight? We'll tackle that on another episode of Your Body On.